Hey Kyle, what are you doing today? Beautiful day for a long run. We're live. What's up YouTube? First Sunday after the Olympic postponement, we're gonna go up to the Dutchess County Rail Trail. It's just me and my wife, Patricia. The plan is to go 20 miles. The longest long run that I've ever done. And I'm not necessarily trying to hammer, unless I feel good. You ready, Kyle? First mile, 642, fastest mile I've ever started to run it. Okay, so when they postponed the Olympics, it kind of rolled out. They, they came slowly, slowly more official. Yeah, it sucks. Like for the health of the world, it's obviously a necessary move. But that doesn't mean it, it hurts any less. Assuming I do 20 miles today, then that'd give me 100 miles for the week, which is just more than I've ever done. It's not like a magic number or anything. It's not going to change my fitness. It's not indicative of anything. And I thought it would be fun. Just hit five miles. I can't keep up. <laughs> this was faster than anticipated. The future is weird now. Like a lot of people retire after the Olympic cycles. I was definitely one of those people who had accepted the fact that maybe this was my last year running professionally as the only thing that I do. I had some plans that I was pretty excited for. You know, both career-wise, family-wise maybe, I'll be 30 years old. This disrupts things. It's not like this year was going especially well for me right now. Training has definitely started to click here the last month and I'm doing things that I haven't been able to do in a few years. I don't know, so I've kind of been trying to cope with this uncertainty and I don't think I'm alone. So uh, yes, right now, I'm just trying not to think about it and just run, just like enjoy the process of training. I like racing, but I really like running too. And so this is still something that I really enjoy as an act in and of itself. Might as well just keep running. I'm probably one of the, the weirder reactions to the whole thing with I up my mileage. I kind of feel a little bit free at the moment. When we have an idea of when races are, we'll change things up. My arm, I'm getting pretty tired there. Got some fluids, baby. We have to be done. <laughs> Kyle. Walk way over the Hudson. God, it's cool. We're about to hit 10 as well. Nice. So we timed it perfectly. 10 miles, 60.56. The gradual uphill in any of this is. Miles and 89, 46. So we're under 600 pace. Mile 18. Two to go. Two to go. How do I look? You look good. I'm struggling. It's <laughs> <laughs> the longest bike ride of your life. Oh my god. Uploading it as a run though. One mile to go. We're at a 99 mile week. <laughs> 20 miles. 
I shut it down a little the last half mile. <laughs> like I was starting to get a cramp. You were rolling. That was good. <sighs> I'm so tired. I could never run 20 miles. <laughs> Maybe hypocritical since I just ran a 20 mile run so I could hit 100 in a week. It doesn't make any difference. It's not like running 100 miles a week gets you any fitter than running 95 miles a week. The variance of the quality is really what matters. It's amazing how much easier this week was for me when I dialed back my workouts, even though I bumped my mileage. I think we get very number obsessed, but really it's like the closest marker that maybe we have to measuring effort but it's far from perfect. All right, I don't know what I'm gonna do next week now. <laughs>